And it come through, we all in an orchard sitting down here and doing it all. Want a foot patrol to go into Hornfleur to make sure it's clear. The Polish armour brigade was on our left. And they'd gone into Hornfleur and they reckoned it was clear. But in tanks, you can't see that much. So they wanted a foot patrol to go down and check it. Who got the job? Three troop. Who got the job? A section. Jimmy said it, come round, if you're right, lads, we've got to go for a walk. Yeah, we did. Into Hornfleur. On the way, we ambushed a tank, which was a Polish tank. He was lucky. And uh, then we went on foot into Hornfleur. And as you come into the town, we come down this road, and on the right was a wall, and on the wall was a pissoir what the French used over week when they're out and they're taking short. That's the last thing I saw. We come round the corner and was looking along the quay side. Looking along the quay side. That was it. I woke up, I was in the gutter over there somewhere. A rider, our paramedic, was over me and someone else was there with him and that. And I heard someone, as I come round, I heard someone say, he's dead. And I opened my eyes and looked at the rider. And he said, no, he ain't. And I passed out again. Then I come round, I was on a stretcher on the back of a jeep. The jeep belonged to some airborne medical, uh, what do you call it? And uh, the bloke driving it must have been a maniac because he took me across country and I was lucky I was strapped on and all that, but boom, boom, and I was going under each tree. And, uh, anyway, then we drive into this big house in Boozerville, big red brick front house. It was a hospital, and I passed out. I remember being carried in, and I looked up through the front of the house, and I passed out. Then I've come round again, and I'm on a bed. And of course, I look one way, Germans. Look that way, Germans, wounded, on the floor, on the beds, all along the bloody wall, Germans. Oh, for Christ, the driver's gone the wrong way. We're in the bin like, you know, we're in the bag. Then I passed out. Then I come round and someone's standing by my bed. And I look up and it's this German officer. Oh, I thought, uh, oh dear. And I couldn't do nothing, I was a sack of spuds. I was a sack of spuds. And uh, this bloke looks at me like, I hate it. You are in a German field hospital. I thought, yeah, good. I thought, well, that's it then. Yeah. Then he said, but you will be evacuated to a British hospital. Oh, I said, good. And that was, that was nothing. And then he went away. Then I went to sleep. Then I come round, and there was two British medical corps blokes putting me on a stretcher. And out of that, into one of the old Austin uh, ambulances, and I was put on the floor. Because there's two blokes here, two blokes there on the stretchers, like that. And the bloke on one of the top stretchers must have been bleeding heavily because I'm laying on the floor and someone's gripping on me. I couldn't do nothing about it, and that's how it was, all the way to Bayeux, to the hospital, I think it was 108 Field Hospital. And uh, I was in there a couple of weeks, 